Judgment Day is upon us. It's funny, Mike would say Judgment Day is here, and it is upon us in Little Rock, Arkansas, Texas. So we're in Arkansas, and we've got a big show tonight, although this show is fucked up from start to finish. The main event is technically not even happening. Kane is the number one contender, but he's not eligible to battle for the World Heavyweight title. So Kurt Angle is actually not defending this title tonight. It's as fucked up as that sounds, and as fucked up as it is, Kurt Angle is not defending this title. And that is pissed Kane off. So Kane wants a first blood match, and I ain't saying no to him. So Kane's getting it. It's going to be Kane versus Kurt Angle tonight. First person to bleed loses. Uh, with Rated RKO taking on Batista and Mysterio for the Tag Team Championships. Uh, with Ken Kennedy, he's been forced inside a steel cage like a little pig. And he's taken on the uh, the guy that takes the souls and fucking digs holes. It's the Undertaker. It's the guy that sends you six feet under. Will he send Mr. Kennedy six feet under? Or will he go 15 feet up? Because it's a steel cage match. He might have to climb to escape it. We don't know, but we will find out. We've got Bobby Lashley taking on JBL. I don't really know what's happening here. Just two big guys going at it. Vincent Kennedy McMahon's dream there, isn't it, really, when you think about it? Uh, we've got Tori Wilson taking on Molina. Uh, the Marks would take this. They mean they cover their eyes for the three minutes that it lasts for. And uh, opening match, we've got Booker T. The five-time, 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 five-time world champion taking on Mr. Johnny Nitro for the United States Championship. Now, normally we play one game every show. This is a pay-per-view, so we'll, 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 we'll up the ante. We'll play two matches, and I think the two matches have to be the Steel Cage match and the First Blood match. Perhaps at bigger shows, I'll, I'll maybe do the full card, but for now we'll, do, we'll stick to two. And I think... Those two are pretty good. So let's go. Let's get stuck in. Let's start our first pay-up view. Can we start clawing back the uh, the fans and the fan support that we've been losing to Raw? Let's find out. Opening match. Will we get a title change? No, we don't. Booker T retains. He's still United States champion. So good for him. And then Tori will also win. So Molina has been on the losing end here. She mustn't be sucking enough dick backstage. She's still losing regardless. So I don't know what Molina has to do here to get a win. Two matches in, she's lost both of them. Absolute shape for her perspective, right? Book Bobby Lashley versus JBL. Bobby Lashley was booked like a machine in this period. Is he going to be booked like a machine tonight? He is. Bobby Lashley beats JBL. John Bradshaw Layfield has just been laid out in the ring. So that's not a good night for JBL. All his money in the world could they buy him a win tonight. Here we go. Mr. Kennedy, Ken Kennedy, taking on The Undertaker. Right, who will we go? You know what? We'll go Ken Kennedy. We'll try and get my win. It's going to be difficult. 84 overall versus 89 Undertaker. I'm not expecting big things for this match. But you know what? We'll give it, we'll give it a go. We'll, we'll try our best and we'll see if Mr. Kennedy can get another win here. I believe at this stage he defeated like, what, seven world champions in the space of a year? I wonder if he can do I think Undertaker was one of them. But let's see if he can defeat him again. And here he is, Kennedy. Kennedy. I know Mr. Kennedy was alright, like never used to like the guy, but after seeing a wee bit of him, watching the doing a WWE ECW uh, review run through on this channel, basically going back and watching the relaunch of ECW and we have seen Mr. Kennedy a few times on it, watched WrestleMania, I've seen this and yeah, I mean I think the guy was actually better than I originally thought, but the the game the, <laughs> his appearance in this game is is definitely uh it's doing him, it's doing him wonders for him in this game because he does not have a body like that in real life. The guy's flabby as fuck. I mean, there's no muscles. There's definitely no six pack. Maybe a six pack of beer. It could be maybe sharing Austin's beers. Although I don't think Austin would share a six pack. Austin would probably need a hundred pack to share. But anyway, here he goes, Mr. Kennedy. Probably going to tell me to shut the fuck up, is he? Just want to remind you. Mr. Kennedy! Kennedy. Undertaker's entrance is long enough without him repeating his name twice, so let's get on with this. Let's do it. And here he comes, the Phenom. The Lord of Darkness. The Diggory Graves. 
the man who recedes from Death Valley. The Undertaker, and I'm sorry, I like The Undertaker, Mark Calloway, what a guy, what a legend, but I'm not watching your entrance again, mate, no chance, it's a skip for me. I've just did everyone a favour there by skipping that. And now we can get on to the important business. And the steel cage has been lowered. The steel cage is coming down. The steel cage is almost a as Kennedy. Looking for a way to escape Taker. Looking up at the, the heavens. Is he looking for God? Maybe he's getting God's judgment, God's permission to batter this man tonight. Here we go. Taker Kennedy. Okay. Taker straight away overpowers Kennedy. And takes him down. With a side headlock. And Taker hasn't been... Mr. Mr. Kennedy take a hunting it on, let's just put it that way over the past couple weeks. And uh, Mr. Kennedy might pay for his sins here tonight. Take a already taking Mr. Kennedy to old school here, going to the top rope. And he just smashes down on his shoulder there. Mr. Kennedy needs to needs to create something at the moment. He's just been on oh, he fights back with a spear. Taker didn't see that one coming, Mr. Kennedy with spirit in nowhere. And then a big boot to the chest of Taker, and let's see here, can, can Kennedy's going to try and climb out of here, Kennedy's going to, Kennedy's going for this, but no, Taker ain't having it. <laughs> Just drags him back into the middle of the ring. Not tonight, not that fast, Mr. Kennedy. Taker gets him back in here. And he's, now he's going for the a triangle choke, and he's... Could he make Kennedy tap it here in the middle of the ring? Taker has got his finisher on it, what the f- <laughs> How? And look at Mr. Kennedy's body. Mr. Kennedy has been absolutely smashed in this opening minute here. Smashed like a $10 whore, man. He's getting absolutely pummeled. Can Mr. Kennedy get back to his feet? Can Mr. Kennedy get a bit of momentum here? Doesn't it look like it? Let's see. Both men hook up and Taker ain't having it. Taker's wanting to put this one away here. He ain't going to give Mr. Kennedy a chance to escape the cage. Big tombstone pile driver from The Undertaker. And could that do it? And it does. Taker beats Mr. Kennedy in less than two minutes. I mean, who's seen that coming? Sorry, I got distracted there by the Molina picture, but I mean, who's seen that coming, man? Jesus Christ. Undertaker beats Mr. Kennedy in less than two minutes, and that has to put the dead man in line for a World Heavyweight title picture, surely. He's celebrating. Mr. Kennedy doesn't even know what day it is. It's Sunday, Mr. Kennedy, in case you wanted to know. Or I guess every day's the same when you've just been buried by the Undertaker, though. So Undertaker picking up a big win here. First paper through the year. And it's a success for the dead man as he beats Mr. Kennedy. Right, here we go, match five. Well, Batista and Ray retain, or we're going to have new champs. Batista and Ray Mysterio retain. Big win there for Batista over Ray to RKO. And then we move on to the main event. It's going to be Kurt Angle versus Kane. We're going to play Kurt Angle this time. Yeah, we'll, we'll play this Kennedy against the Undertaker. So we'll play as Kurt against Kane. We've we'll played as Kane quite a lot over the last couple of weeks. So this time we're going to go Kurt. And we're going to see if we can defeat we defeat Kane. It's first blood. First person to bleed loses. It's a bit grim. It is. But hey, you got to fucking love it, don't you? It's hardcore. This is a man's business, not a fucking boy's business. If all these 2021 wannabes want to play in a boy's business, then the likes of Seth Rollins. Go to Celtic Park. Loads of boys there. If you want to... If you want to be in a boy environment, go to Celtic Park, go to the training ground, go to the showers, you'll be at home. But this is where the big boys play, and it's no WCW, it's the WWE, and it's Kane versus Kurt Angle in tonight's main event, Judgment Day. Someone is going to get judged, someone's day is going to be upon them. Could it be their final day? I mean, Kane, absolutely furious, he's not getting a title shot. He is fucking pissed off, and do you blame him? Probably not, probably not, Kane. The guy's a monster. And uh, if monsters don't get what they want, there's normally destruction ahead of the path, and I think that could be there could be a lot of destruction in Kurt Angle's path tonight. 
I mean, he, he fought hard. He fought hard to win a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. He might need to. He might need to win this match with about 200 freaking broken bones in his body. But we'll find out. Here he comes, the wrestling machine, leaving his title behind, and it's not on the line. But uh, we'll probably make him defend it on SmackDown because. I don't agree with that. No, no title on, on the pay-per-view. I can understand why Kane's pissed off. But yeah, hopefully Kurt doesn't get battered too, too much tonight because he will defend that belt on SmackDown. I haven't decided against who yet, but he will. I'm thinking Undertaker. Undertaker with an impressive win against Mr. Kennedy tonight. Maybe Undertaker deserves a shot against Kurt Angle, the Olympic gold medalist versus. I guess the Undertaker's arm might be made out of metal. Could be metal versus arm on the line. Arn on a pole match, medal on a pole match, we're going down the, the Vince Russo route here. Super crazy psychosis. If you need your lawn mowed, uh, mowed just phone one of those guys, but if you need someone killed, then probably contact Kane, be a contract killer. Anyway, here we go. Can Kurt Angle be the giant killer, the monster killer? Hopefully this match can go more than two minutes. Uh, the Brawlers of Destruction are pretty dominant, but I did not expect Mr. Kennedy, Kian Kennedy, to lose in the uh, the record fashion that he did. It was a poor showing for Kian Kennedy. I wonder if he'll get a rematch on SmackDown. I don't know, but Kurt Angle then just slams Kian into the hot game with a big boot. Ain't having it, but Kurt Angle with the elbows counter on it. Has to get back into the fight here. Kurt Angle going for a suplex. Kian now nah, counters at headlock. Kane ain't having it, Kane with a big knee to the midsection of Kurt and Kurt's up here. Oh, and a big power bomb for Kane. Kane who's spinning Kurt around and just, oh, lays him out with a big spinning power bomb. Shades of Brock Lesnar. And Kane's got a finisher. How? How overpowered is this? What is happening here? Kane then double axe handle drop there on uh, Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle needs to try and create something here. Kurt Angle needs to, needs to fight back. Couple of punches to Kane. Kane counters that one. No, Kane. Fucking Kane's the guy that's counting on it, and he goes for a side headlock. Is he trying to weaken the head? Is he trying to get the blood to flow to the head? The Kurt Angle here could be the case. Kurt going after the ropes. And he, he nails Kane with the uh, shoulder, the shoulder block. And Kane ain't having it. Kane's like, "Fuck this! I'm putting you away to sleep here. I'm ending this match right now." Where's my title shot, Kurt? <laughs> big, big time choke slam there to the big red machine. But uh, it's first blood, there's no pinfalls, there's no submissions. C nobody's ankle will be hurting the night. Well, I mean, Kurt Angle can hurt the ankle all he wants, but it won't win him the match. Unless he can make the ankle bleed. Well, came with big chops, he had a big uppercut thrust there to cut. Kane then just knees to Kurt Angle here. And Kane are going for an odd choke, so he's... Kane's just no having this, Kane lifts Kurt up. <laughs> Another big massive choke slam and Kurt smashes the back of his head. That bald napper hits the ground, no protection. Another big boot. <laughs> Kurt cannot create anything here. We need to create some separation. Kurt Angle goes behind on Kane. And then lifts him up and attacks the leg. Kurt then finally getting a bit of momentum here, but Kane with a big massive eye poke the momentum. Gone. In an instant, gone in a second. Kurt then, Irish whip into the corner. Oh, he went for a clothesline, he missed. Went straight into the turnbuckle. Goes for the Irish whip, Kane counters. Kane slams Kurt into the uh, turnbuckle, Kane getting all his stamina back. Kane is just completely destroying us here, but Kurt then with a counter. And what's Kurt go for here, Kurt? Choking out Kane here, Kurt choking the life out of Kane. Shades of Chris Benoit. Is anyone going to be murdered tonight? Maybe not. Kane getting back to his feet, Kurt going for the clothesline, and Kurt flies over the top rope. And a big chop, a big chop, and that just had no, a chop had no effect on Kane. And Kurt is going to go up here for a third choke slam. Will somebody stop, in the famous words of uh, JR, will somebody stop the damn match? I'm 
Come on, Kurt, then. Battles out of it. Kurt. Goes behind. Kane. Goes for a big chairman. Oh, and he, Kane almost snaps his neck. And Kurt then having to hold the ribs. Kurt can't capitalise. He's, he's too hurt. <laughs> now he's getting battled. The big red machine back to his feet here. Just, and he's punching away at Kurt Angle's head. And that could... Oh, and he's bust him open. Kane with just those... Oh, those big right hands. And he's bust it open. Kurt Angle's head. And that's it. That one, This one's finished. Kurt Angle's lost. In the main event. Thank God the title wasn't on the line. There was no ankle locks. There was no Olympic slams. There was just a bunch of choke slams and a bunch of right hands for Kane. And that's enough to give the big red machine the win here in the main event. A judgment day. And surely Kane is not far away from a world title match. He can't be. I mean, the guy has been on fire. Well, wait, maybe that's a bad joke for Kane. He's been on fire, but the guy is he's, he's red hot. Oh fuck that! No, he's he's on a he's on a roll. Let's put it that way. Not not a fireman's roll. He's on a winning roll, a winning streak. And he's just destroyed Kurt Angle today as we end the Judgment Day pay per view. And now we need to worry about what this show got in terms of rating. What will it be? Will it be successful? I think it, I think it was a good show, but we'll find out. I'm gonna go for three stars, maybe three and a half stars. Now nah, we'll go three. Don't want to be too greedy. There was no world title match on, and that will definitely affect the show, you feel. But uh, let's see. Fan change. 500. Half a mil. That's, that's pretty damn good there. So let's, let's have a quick look then and see what the ratings were. I don't think we were 500 behind Raw, so we should have moved up here. Right, let's see what Raw did. Raw did three stars. What was our main event? Rob Van Dam versus Cena. Shades of ECW One Night Stand there. And this was in Glasgow, Scotland. Smackdown, oh, we already, we've already checked these, right, okay, here we go, pay-per-view, this is what matters, three and a half stars, holy shit, so that was actually a good show, and the last three matches all got three and a half stars, could you imagine what the Kane Angle match would have got with the title on the line, maybe we would have got four, and now we go to the fan support, and you can see, holy, wait, we're actually ahead before we went into that, I, I totally forgot, we were beating Raw before the pay-per-view, and now we've opened up a big gap, so we are, what, we're over a million in front, 1.2 million in front of Raw. That's what you like to see. Raw were closing the gap over the last couple of weeks, but we've opened it back up there. We've opened up the gap just like Kane opened up Kurt Angle's head on that pay-per-view. Right, Power 25, has anything changed here? Let's check Smackdown. Kane is up to ninth. He's got 76 popularity. His popularity is above Bobby Lashley, but he's behind him in the rankings. I think a couple more wins and Kane will definitely be in World Championship contention. We've got Paul Burchill some, somehow sneaking into a, a potential United States Championship slot, and I don't, I honestly don't know how that has happened, if I'm being honest. Book of T, popularity is 78. Uh, we've still got the tag champs there, third and fourth. Uh, Kurt Angle needs to defend the title on SmackDown this week. It may, may well be against Kane's older brother, The Undertaker. I think that's what it might be, guys. Kurt Angle versus Undertaker on SmackDown. What a match that will be. And I think that's what we might go for. I, I'm pretty sure that's what we will go for. All the rivalries then will have ended. We need to start up fresh ones. Well, actually, this is still... Why is this still going? Did I put this one to be at the next pay-per-view? Like... I don't know why. I don't. I'm confused why this rivalry's still going. But um, I could have swore I, have, I had it ending at Judgment Day, but maybe not. Still going. It's seven stars. Maybe we need to hire another woman. We've got these two constantly battling each other. Maybe I'll look to try and get a third diva on the show. There's Jillian Hall, who we don't really want. If I'm being honest, now nah, we don't want Jillian Hall. Maybe we'll make a trade. Maybe we'll go to Raw and we'll say, look, how about you trade us the sexy Candice Michelle for? Fucking, I don't know, Paul Burchill, because he's shit. Maybe that's what we'll do. We'll do that next time, guys, on SmackDown. Anyway, that's it. Thanks for watching here on Fog Wrestling Judgment Day. The Brawlers of Destruction did a lot of judging, didn't they? Kane Undertaker picked up wins. Till next time. Peace.